We are ready for recipe number two. Here is a quick pan of the ingredients we're gonna use. Not too many, hopefully you all have that in your house. And we're gonna turn this into these beautiful apple crumble bars, which you can have for breakfast or a nice dessert treat. And we hope you enjoy, so let's get started. Hello again. We are going to make our delicious blueberry crumble bars, which are great for breakfast or a nice tasty treat. And I have a very special helper to help me make this one up. Can you say hi, special helper? Hi. All right, we're gonna get started. So we need that second bowl over there. Do you wanna grab that one? That one there, yeah. What is that one? We have some oat flour. Okay, so we have one and a half cups of oat flour. We're gonna toss it in. We're starting to make the crumble first and then we'll make the blueberry filling after. So next is this one here. We have oats. Yeah, so these are traditional rolled oats. We're using gluten-free because that's what we need, but you can use any oats that you have in your house. The next ingredient we're gonna use is that measuring cup right there. All right, we have a quarter cup of maple syrup. Yeah, we're using pure maple syrup. Uh, we modified the recipe that we originally used to use maple syrup so that it's a little bit lower in sugar, but just as sweet and tasty. We don't wanna have too much sugar at this time in our lives. And also sugar actually lowers our immune function. So we're gonna try to lower the sugar content here. Next, we are going to grab the spices there. What do we have, Brenna? We have, so we have a half teaspoon of Cinnamon? Cinnamon, and we have a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Perfect, let's toss it in. Good, and we are going to add some oil to the mix. We're gonna use coconut oil today. I know there's a lot of controversy about coconut oil, whether it's good or not, you can toss it in. Um, we're using it today because it will help the recipe to harden when it's um, at room temperature. But you can use whatever oil you have. You can melt um, butter or margarine. We're using a quarter cup today. And last but not least, we're gonna add that last bowl there. Do you know what's in there? Uh, we have vanilla and almond extract. Yeah, you don't have to use the almond extract, but it adds a nice flavor that complements the blueberries. So let's toss it in. Toss it all in. So, oh yeah, how much is it? We have a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of almond. Thank you for reminding me. So do you wanna stir that up for us? Since you're such a helpful helper. Mm -hmm. And um, we all know we need more fiber in our lives, right? To lower our cholesterol, our risk of diabetes. Uh, more fiber helps us to feel fuller for longer so we're not eating so much. We're at lower risk for obesity. But who wants to eat a plain bowl of oatmeal? I mean, I do, I love it, but not everybody wants to. So here's another alternative using this recipe to include some oats in your everyday life so that you can have um, more fiber. Oats are actually um, a source of zinc and zinc helps with your immune function since we are all wanting to make sure that our immunity is high. So we're gonna stir this up until everything is nicely mixed and there's no powder left. You're doing a great job there. And once this is all mixed up, you want me to help you? Sure, I yeah. can help. Once it's all mixed up, it gets a little bit um, tricky to stir, doesn't it? Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna toss this in the fridge and we're gonna make the blueberry filling. So we'll see you at the stove. Hi, we're back here at the stove. We have our pot on medium heat. It's steaming because we just rinsed it. I have my helper and don't worry, she's under adult supervision. Kids, it's always a good idea to ask mom and dad before you use the stove. Um, my helpers used the stove before and I fully trust her because she knows the rules. So we're gonna get going. We're gonna throw in two and a half cups of frozen wild blueberries. Blueberries are so high in antioxidants. They actually have anthocyanins. Put this over here. Uh, we also tossed in with that those blueberries. We pre-measured 
a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Like I said, you don't have to add that, but we enjoy the way that the almond flavor complements the blueberries. And um, berries are shown to reduce the risk for so many diseases like Parkinson's disease and heart disease. I'm sure many of you have heard that it's a super food. So next we're gonna toss in our sweetener. We're gonna use maple syrup again. We have three tablespoons pre-measured here. We're gonna toss it in. We're trying to use natural source sweeteners. Um, if you come to Veggie Club, you know that I say we always try to get things as close to the actual way it's grown as possible. So, maple syrup is still a sweetener, but it is a little bit closer to how you find it in nature than, say, sugar. Last but not least, we have some cornstarch. We're using one tablespoon of cornstarch. You could substitute um, arrowroot starch if you want it. You might need to use your fingers and scrape it or your spoon. There we go. And now we are going to stir this up and cook it up until the blueberries start to break apart a little bit and the mixture is nice and thick. So we'll stir it up here. Our blueberries finished and we're just letting them cool off so it's safe to pour them into the dish here we've got um, an 8x8 parchment lined casserole dish you don't have to use parchment if you spray it nicely uh, we just don't want to have all that excess oil so we use parchment today what we're gonna do now is we grabbed our mix from the fridge and as you can see it hardened quite a lot so what we're gonna do is do you need some help? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about half of this mixture here. We're gonna save the rest for the top. Yeah, we are gonna save the rest for the top. You can tell that my helper has made this recipe before. almost have half of it and what I'm gonna say is if you use coconut oil take this part out first before you put it in the fridge <laughs> last time we used um, a different kind of oil so we didn't have this issue so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our fingers and we're gonna press it down so that it spreads all the way along the bottom and it makes a nice little crust so we're gonna squish it down all along the bottom A but little too much. But that's enough, I think. Enough gonna, for now. Because we're going to crumble it all over the top. Okay, I'm going to grab our blueberries. You just want to back up a little bit so you know the pot's hot. So here, I hope you can see. Um, it's hard to tell because of my blue spoon, but this took probably about five minutes to cook up, so it's nice and thick. There, can you see that there? And I know it's done because it's got a little bit of thickness. And also, I don't know if you can tell in the shot, but the back of the spoon is coated. Um, I'm glad. Thanks for letting me know. So we're just going to dump it right on top. Yeah. Okay. You want to spread it out for me? And while she does that, I'm going to go preheat my oven to 350. So we've got it spread out nicely. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the rest of the crumble and just crumble it on top. I'm gonna do that. Can I do it myself? You gonna do it all yourself, sure? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help you though? Cause it's pretty stuck on there. Do we have any other um, helper chefs that are watching these videos? My helper here is six, 
and she really likes to cook and bake. What's your favorite thing to bake? Cupcakes. You like making cupcakes? I like eating cupcakes. Me too. <laughs> you do. What else do you like to cook? I like also making this stuff we're making right now. Oh yeah, this isn't your first time making it. You've made it for us before. Just one. It's our second time making it. It's our second time making it. You like getting your hands messy? Yeah. That's... This is a good one for getting your hands messy. Yeah. So you can see this is a multi-sensory activity if you're looking for more things to do with your kids. This is a great one. We're going to speed up the last little bit of the process here and we are going to put this into the oven for about 30 minutes until the top is nice and golden and the mixture is bubbling underneath. to go okay so doesn't this look delicious we have this in the oven for about 27 minutes and you can see it's a nice and brown and crispy and I sliced a few pieces up here after letting it cool look at that yummy gooey blueberry oat goodness I've got three helpers with me here to assess quality control And I forgot to grab utensils. See, it comes apart, but that's the whole reason why you call it a blueberry crumble, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, can one of my helpers go get us some spoons or forks? And we'll see what the verdict is on this. I can help you. I'll get you some. How is it? Good. One good? What's the verdict? Good. It's good. Three goods. Another recipe approved in this house. I'd love to see if you try or if you substitute with other berries. We want to try it with blackberries in the summer or strawberries. Um, and I'd love to see how it turn out. turns out. Excuse me. Um, so please put a photo in the comments. And please, we love any feedback you have. If there's other recipes you'd like us to show you or things you'd like to learn, um, this is our first time trying this, so we're open to lots of feedback. And if you want us to make another video in the weeks to come, we would love to. And if not, well, that's okay too. We had a lot of fun doing this. So we hope you are all keeping well and healthy, and we miss you. And we hope that in the months to come, we will be able to meet again soon. Take care. Bye.